The Owen James Report is brought to you by NCB Insurance Omni Educator Policy. Dear Mommy and Daddy, just a few months of college left and I just kind of wanted to say thank you. You guys worked hard and sacrificed to let me follow my dreams all the way to university. We knew we had to start saving early so Karen could go to university. We knew we had to make the necessary sacrifices. The Omni Educator grant and top of our regular savings really make a difference. I love you, Mommy and Daddy. Your daughter, Kareen. Make your child's dream come true starting today with an NCB Insurance Omni Educator policy. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. And we begin with news on the foreign exchange market and some good news for those who earn Jamaican dollars only. The local currency strengthened slightly against the three regularly traded international currencies today. In other words, the US and Canadian dollars as well as the British pound weakened against the local currency. The greenback weakened by three Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $114.54, whilst its Canadian counterpart declined by 15 Jamaican cents to close at $97.62. Sterling weakened by 42 Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $177.22. The commercial banks and other licensed financial firms bought a total of 46.3 million US dollars and sold 42.9 million or 7% less than what they bought. Epley Limited today proved that the Jamaica Stock Exchange's junior market is a viable option for companies seeking equity over debt. Epley Limited today listed almost 100 million cumulative redeemable preference shares, the tenure being five years. The shares were listed at $6 each and are valued at $599,992,000. General Manager of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, Marilyn Street Forest, says Epley's success proves that the stock market is a viable option for businesses to expand, retire debt, or retool once they have credible plans. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where losses by Blue Chips, Carreras and Scotia Group mainly triggered falls in the indices today. The main JC index fell by 518 points or 7 tenths of 1 percent. At 75,931 points, the index is down almost 6 percent on December 24 last year. Christmas Eve trading was fair, with over 2.5 million shares changing hands, Carreras, Lasco Manufacturing and Scotia Group dominated trading. 18 stocks traded with 5 advancing, 8 declining and 5 holding firm. The winners included Berger, Lasco Distributors, NCB and Salada Foods, up 4.8% the day's big winner. The losers included Carreras, DNG, Sagicor's Real Estate X Fund and Scotia Group Jamaica. Finally, global oil prices continue to fall and evidence of overproduction. West Texas Intermediate Crude for February delivery fell by 3% to $55.40 a barrel today. Over in Europe, Brent Blend slid once more below $60 a barrel. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report is brought to you by NCB Insurance Omni Educator Policy. Call us today.